today's world of high-speed connection, text messaging, and social networking, we often find ourselves searching for information. There are millions of blogs on the internet, news, sports, politics, and tech, but I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. My name is Zinni Abraham, and this is The Blog Report. It's time now for news. Um, it's like Cinderella's last winter. So at midnight tonight, at the screening, crazy things might happen. We're a little sore because you know when they shrink you back down it. Yeah, I can see. Oh. Like stretch mark cream. <laughs> Everyone wants to know our secret. Wait, wait. Do the uniforms shrink with you, or they grow with you? No, they pop off. They, they. Nice. Just completely disintegrate. It's like the. I mean, the it's wow. a Mormon film. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs clothes? Who needs clothes? <laughs> How do you play Fifty Feet? How do you play this role? How does it? Like. Yeah, yeah, a lot of green screen. We were, we were. Um, I like to say, drunk on green. For two weeks. <laughs> when, when I was in the audition, uh, our director Kevin O'Neill said, "How do you feel about the color green?" Really? I had no idea what he was talking about, and then um, I got a glimpse of it. But yeah, a lot of pretend, a lot of looking down, lots Tiny of props. miniature props. Yeah, little baby props are so cute. We had a miniature keg. Uh, nice. Tons of miniature pizzas and uh, and then um, because I'm a shrimpo, which is uh, an important aspect of the story and the character, I was on a lot of platforms and then um, a lot of movie magic and visual effects. Did you have to over exaggerate your movements in order to kind of match things, or I think anything with Roger Palmer's name attached, it's going to be exaggerated that, to start that's with. Very true. Um, as, you know, but against the green screen, did that did that have to? Did you have to adjust how? You act? Absolutely, and with the uh, aspect of 3D also involved. Oh, really? uh, hmm. There are so many elements with the blocking that take the film to another level because we wanted those pop-out moments. And, and uh, 3D can be so gimmicky that, um, which it's being movie so that's even silly to, right. to say, but um, <laughs> we really, we shot it in true 3D. It wasn't, oh, right. it wasn't, it wasn't uh, converted, converted right. And so, so yeah, the combination of 3D and all of the green screen it was tedious but um, I know for my character because I'm more of the antagonist the villain um, they actually had to tone me down as I got bigger because for my character part of her power struggle is that she is small and so once she's bigger she doesn't need to yell as much right, she's, because big. she's finally bigger but that's kind of the change in the characters as my character steps into that power uh, which leads to my what does it say about female self-esteem? There's definitely something about women's empowerment here. Um, but as far as self-esteem goes, my character has a struggle. Um, that's the whole reason I wanted to become 50 feet tall, um, because of my crazy mother who's played by Sean Young. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wow. Yeah, she has that's a good reaction. Of all time. <laughs> Wow. Oh, in the very beginning, I'm really shy, I'm a nerd, I have pimples, I'm, I'm ugly, um, and I want to be beautiful, so I inject myself with a shot, and as a side effect, I do become beautiful, but as a negative side effect, I guess, I continue to grow and grow about the film. So it's almost like Alice in Wonderland to a certain extent. How's it feel? There are so many elements. I, I, I don't want to say this is going to be one of the ultimate B movies. <laughs> Obviously, I'm super biased, but the next there are so <laughs> many elements from so many different great stories, and obviously that's what Roger does best, is he brings in all of those things that people are so connected to, but I think um, this movie has, like, I don't know if you're a fan of Roger's work. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here to see who. <laughs> <laughs> He does monster movies, he does everything, and our film has everything all in one. Like, we have a monster, we have boobs, we have everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's in 3D, right? <laughs> monster with boobs, no. Maybe the boobs next one. 
I think back to the women empowerment thing, there's also an element to um, that the giant, being a giant. You know, I, I dreamed of being Godzilla as a kid. Dominance. Missing. Yeah, and I think that for, I know for both of us, we were very empowered playing our characters, and um, it's something that I think a lot of people, especially feminists, have a lot of opinions about nudity in films, about things like this, but I think that it is about, it is very empowered, and it's, it's driven by things, um, even though the story is really large and uh, all these size puns are really, it's over the top at this point. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's something that at the core, I think is at the core of every young woman, especially in America. It's insecurity for both of the characters that really drives the story and uh, pressure. And I think that those are all really, really feminist uh, things. And I know that our director had us watch a lot of uh, sexploitation and uh, faster pussy got kill kill because the film ends in an epic fight scene. Hmm. which we did all the stunts. We trained in like, cheerleading martial arts. Uh, how does that go? Yeah, how does that... Um, yeah. We do, I mean, it's a combination yeah. of kung fu, but like cheerleading, like yeah. kicks. And right. flips. I flips. Wait, wait yeah. is this a foreshadow, that poster right there? I, I don't think anyone does a split. Uh. <laughs> but... That was um, back in my prime. I was <laughs> There's definitely yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely elements though of the cheerleading that was really important through the audition process that we both had backgrounds in cheer or dance. Um, especially because we couldn't have stunt doubles, which you guys will see in the final fight scene. Um, we literally beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, literally every day. And again, because I'm the mean girl, if anybody messes with this shit now, they better watch it. Like we're the only two allowed to beat each other up. Um, but we were trained by a real Ninja Turtle, one of the, one of the originals, and two Power Rangers. Nice. And I had nice. to spend an Very hour nice. the first day of rehearsal just kind of freaking out a little bit. <laughs> and I went in there like, you know, thinking I'm a badass, and uh, we could barely walk. I mean, um, after day two or like literally, I mean, and you have no idea the because we shot everything in slow motion and in regular speed. Oh my God, I forgot about that. You have to do it over and over oh, and over God. and over, and over, and over, and over again, and it's something that your energy is just. I mean, I was literally drinking the you know those giant Red Bulls. You know when you see them and you go, who drinks those? Yeah. <laughs> And then, like, um, I know we became really good friends, obviously, throughout this film. Cause, you never know. You know, but we did. We don't and, each other's or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, there were, for me, the, my biggest challenge as an actress, I think, is the innocence and, and really dimming the power. As opposed to for Jenna, it's, you know, bringing it up. And so we definitely would like scream at each other before every take. We'd be like, all right, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> and our trainer did this thing that I really love that we do now. And it's an energy ball. Energy ball. <laughs> yeah, do that again. Energy ball. That's cool. <laughs> energy ball. Energy ball. <laughs> 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 so energy ball. Now. <laughs> um, they're going to make us get up in like two uh, minutes. Hey, how'd you get in sleep for the role? Shape. In shape? Yeah. Oh, I did six weeks of cheer training. Um, liposuction. Mm -hmm. Lipos <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> I, I've always just sort of kept myself in shape just because I, I work as a model as well. So I managed to go to the gym. I, 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 I took a few Tillman classes, but it's sort of something I never forgot how to do. Hmm. I was in her this audition been that long, when you know? she came in. I was already cast, and she literally I was with her in the room. like, she did a backflip in the audition. She was like one of the only girls who came in and was just really ready to have the skills, you know. So, uh, but staying in shape obviously is a really important aspect of being in a film like this because there's not we very much clothes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they were like, you guys can't wear any clothes at Comic Con. You guys can come, but yeah. you can't wear any clothes. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, is your next film the Fifty Feet Shades of Grey? I'm curious. Oh my god, <laughs> done and done. Uh, we would, we would only hope. No. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey. I'd love to have a sequel, Roger Corman. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, of course, there's an open, there's an open ending. There's definitely room there's for a, that. To be continued. So uh, we would hope. But um, yeah, any, any other? How was it working with your director? Was it Kevin? Considering it was a male instead of a female director. He's actually uh, a great communicator. Yeah. And I think that 
he gave us a lot of freedom. And he's kids, so it's like, I, don't know, I feel like that sort of softens people up, you know? Um, he's super sweet. I mean, we had dinner with him last night. He's somewhere in over there. Uh, he's super sweet. Like, I, I'm a really new actress, so after a scene, I would ask him a few questions. Like, did you like how I did that? Or is there anything you need to tell me so like, to make it seem better? So he was really great at giving me advice and helping me out. I think another aspect, too, of being on a lower budget film, and, and there's a lot more freedom. And when Roger and Julie produce, they put their trust in you, they show the set at the beginning, and then they retreat. Yeah. And of course, if there's a problem with the dailies, you're going to know about it. But um, everything from wardrobe to choices we made in the scene to even the 3D moments, uh, we had ideas and they listened to them. Um, and there was a lot of freedom and it was really liberating for us. So. Okay. Thank, thank you all. Thank